we want to do as Christians, we want to walk like Christians, live like Christians, talk like Christians. Many years ago, when they used to have slavery in the South, they, down Kentucky and Alabama and down where I come from, they used to take the colored and auction them off at the, at the auction block, just like you'd have used cars or something. Uh, I believe no man's to be a slave. God made man and man made slaves. And they used to come by and buy them just like you would buy a used car, get a bill of sales and so forth. That was a terrible thing. So they, one day there was a buyer come by, to a broker, to a, an old plantation that had uh, many slaves. And he said, how many slaves you got? Oh, I said, around 150 out there, I guess. Said, Could I go out and look over them? He said, sure, help yourself. So he went out to look over the the slaves, and when he looked around, he noticed them fellows uh, always, they were sad. They, the Boers brought them over from Africa and unloaded them in Cuba out there and then sent them over here in the south and sold them for slaves. And they know they never go back home. They know that they never see their father and mother no more, or their children, husband, wives, and so forth. They were, they were a victim of circumstance that they didn't make themselves. And here they was, away from home and sad, and sometimes they'd have to take whips and whip them just like they do uh, beast, cattle, and ox, and horses, and things. And then they, um, they make them work. And this, uh, they notice, this young broker notices one of those young slaves, they didn't have to whip him. My had his chin up, his shoulders back, and he was really right on the mark all the time. They didn't have to be doing anything to him. He would, had the job done. So the owner of the slaves said, uh, the broker said to this uh, owner, said, I'd like to buy that slave. He said, oh, no, he's not for sale. He said, well, why ain't he for sale? He said, what, uh, you, so what, are you, what makes him that way? He said, uh, is he the boss or the rest of them? He said, oh, no, he's a slave. He said, do you feed him different than you do the rest of them? He said, no, they all lay out in the galley together. He said, he's just a slave. He said, well, what makes him act different than the rest of them? He said, you know, I often wonder that too till I found out. And over in the homeland in Africa, where they come from, his father is the king of the tribe. And yet he's an alien, far from home, but he knows he's a son of a king. And he acts like it. Yes, oh my. Amen. What are Christians to do? We're sons and daughters of the king. Though we are an aliens, let's act like sons and daughters. Women, let your hair grow out. Quit wearing them clothes that you wear immoral and things. Man, get back to where a man ought to be. Don't act like sons and daughters of God. You're an alien here. But remember, we're sons of the king. See, that influence that man had upon the rest of them, his morale kept the rest of them's hopes high. 